Look up at the night sky. For millennia, humanity used the stars to find its way, celestial signposts guiding explorers across unknown lands and seas. Today we rely on a new constellation, satellites silently orbiting above, sending signals that tell us exactly where we are. This is the magic of Global Navigation Satellite Systems or GNSS, technology as essential as electricity. For decades the United States GPS was the world's only true global navigation system, a tool of both generosity and control. But now, China's Beidou system has risen, named after the Big Dipper, signaling a fundamental shift in global power. This isn't just a tech rivalry, it's a new kind of space race, shaping everything from smartphones to stock markets. When one nation controls a global utility, others feel vulnerable and build their own. Our story traces the journey from the Cold War origins of GPS to China's quest for navigational independence. It's a tale of ambition, fear, and the universal need to know where we are and where we're going. Let's explore how invisible signals from space became one of the world's most critical assets. The race for navigational supremacy is on, and its outcome will shape the future for everyone on this small blue dot. The invisible infrastructure that holds our world together is now at the heart of a global contest. GPS began as a Cold War military project designed to guide U.S. forces with unmatched precision. In the 1970s, the U.S. launched Navstar, later known as GPS, a constellation of satellites broadcasting precise time and location. For years, GPS was a military secret, its signals encrypted and reserved for U.S. allies. That changed in 1983 after a tragic incident. A Korean Airlines flight was shot down after straying off course. In response, President Reagan opened GPS to civilians worldwide, but the civilian signal was intentionally degraded. Selective availability ensured the U.S. military kept the edge. Even so, GPS revolutionized global commerce, travel, and technology, becoming the backbone of modern life. In 2000, the U.S. removed selective availability, unleashing a wave of innovation, smartphones, navigation apps, and more. GPS became a free global utility, powering trillions in economic activity. Yet, the system remained under U.S. military control, the on-off switch always in American hands. The world embraced GPS, often unaware of its strategic implications. But for rising powers, this dependence was a vulnerability, the invisible switch was a reminder, global navigation could be denied at any moment. As GPS became indispensable, the seeds of competition were sown, the world's reliance on a single system would not last forever. A new challenger was on the horizon. For most, GPS was a convenience. For China, it was a strategic risk. In 1996, during the Third Taiwan Strait Crisis, China's military fired missiles near Taiwan. Two missed their targets. Chinese leaders believed the U.S. had degraded GPS signals in the region, blinding their missiles at a critical moment. Whether true or not, the perception was devastating. China's most advanced weapons could be switched off by a foreign power. The incident was a wake-up call, exposing a vulnerability at the heart of China's military modernization. To be truly sovereign, China needed its own navigation system. The crisis became the catalyst for an urgent multi-billion dollar effort to build an independent alternative. No longer just a matter of pride, navigation became a matter of national security. China could not afford to have its autonomy held hostage by another nation's technology. The memory of those stray missiles fueled a relentless drive for navigational independence. The race to rival GPS had begun. China's leaders resolved, never again would their fate depend on someone else's signal. The world's navigation landscape was about to change. A new era of competition was underway. After 1996, China accelerated its plans for an independent navigation system, Beidou. The project unfolded in three phases. Beidou 1, a regional proof of concept. Beidou 2, expanding coverage across Asia Pacific. And Beidou 3, achieving global reach. By 2012, China's military and industries no longer relied on GPS near its borders. Beidou's regional coverage supported China's Belt and Road Initiative, offering partners a Chinese-controlled alternative. The final phase saw a rapid satellite launch campaign. By 2020, Beidou's global constellation was complete. With over 35 satellites, Beidou surpassed GPS in size, offering more signals and potentially greater accuracy, especially in Asia. Unlike GPS's single-orbit design, Beidou uses a mix of orbits, 
concentrating power over its home region. This unique architecture gives China a strategic edge where it matters most. Beidou is not a copy. It's a system engineered for China's priorities. Independence from foreign control was now a reality. China had built a navigation network tailored to its ambitions. The world now had a true alternative to GPS. China knew satellites alone weren't enough, space is vulnerable. So while building Beidou, China revived and modernized Eloran, a ground-based navigation system using powerful radio waves. Eloran signals penetrate where satellites can't, buildings, tunnels, even underwater, and are tough to jam. China's Eloran network backs up Beidou, especially for critical maritime and port operations. Ground stations also enhance satellite accuracy, correcting errors and boosting precision to mere centimeters. This dual-layered approach, satellites plus ground towers, creates a resilient layered system. If satellites are disrupted, Eloran keeps navigation running for vital sectors. While the US scrapped its Loran system, China saw an opportunity and built a safety net GPS lacks. Redundancy became China's secret weapon. China's navigation strategy is a triad, satellites in space, Eloran towers on the ground and fiber optic networks underground. The Beidou constellation provides global coverage. Eloran offers a jam-resistant robust backup for critical infrastructure. The third layer, fiber optic positioning, uses light pulses in underground cables to determine location, immune to traditional jamming. This terrestrial system works indoors and underground, where satellites can't reach. Each layer backs up the others, creating unparalleled redundancy. In a crisis, it would be nearly impossible to completely deny China the ability to navigate. This multi-layered approach is built for resilience, not just convenience. China's network is designed to withstand disruption by nature or by adversaries. It's a system for an uncertain world. GPS and Beidou are technological titans, each with unique strengths. GPS's maturity and ubiquity make it the global standard, trusted, reliable, and deeply embedded worldwide. But its single-layer, satellite-only design is a vulnerability. The world's reliance on GPS is a tempting target. The US military's encrypted signals are secure but civilian infrastructure is more exposed. Beidou, built later, features advanced technology and a mixed orbit constellation, excelling in Asia-Pacific. Its greatest strength is redundancy. Satellites, ground towers, and fiber networks form a layered defense. China prioritized resilience over ubiquity, building a system to survive crisis. Beidou's weakness is its youth. It hasn't yet earned global trust or matched GPS's reach, especially far from China. Some nations are wary of dependence on a system tied to Chinese state interests. The choice between GPS and Beidou is increasingly a choice between US and Chinese influence. The world is being asked to pick a side. The era of a single global standard is ending. Navigation is now a geopolitical contest. The rise of Beidou and GPS rivalry is creating a navigational cold war. Nations may soon have to align their infrastructure with either the US or China, deepening global divides. In conflict, navigation could become a primary battleground. Jamming, spoofing or destroying satellites would cripple economies and militaries alike. Multiple systems increase the risk of confusion and spoofing. Conflicting signals could cause chaos for ships, planes and markets. The loss of a shared, neutral navigation system fragments the global commons. Nations and industries must now weigh which system to trust. The invisible signals that connect us could also become the walls that divide us. The stakes are high. Our way of life depends on these fragile, invisible networks. The competition could spur innovation or deepen distrust. The world must navigate this new reality with caution. The future of global navigation is uncertain and contested. The race between GPS and Beidou is accelerating. The US is modernizing GPS and reconsidering ground-based backups like Eloran. China is pushing Beidou to new heights, aiming for even greater accuracy and reach by 2035. Both nations are building layered, resilient systems, space, ground and beyond. For the rest of the world the lesson is clear. Redundancy is essential. Modern receivers already use signals from GPS, Beidou, Russia's GLONASS and Europe's Galileo. Combining multiple systems means faster, more reliable and more secure navigation. Our civilization depends on these invisible networks, fragile yet vital. The digital stars that guide us are shaped by human ambition and rivalry. In the end our best hope is to listen to all the signals, ensuring we never lose our way.
no matter who controls the sky.